All right, guys, quickly here, how to set up Blender Octane in 2025. This is probably like the third video I've done, but I had Blender Octane running and I started having some issues. So I just did a clean install. Plus there's a new updated version. So I'm gonna quickly do show you how to install it. Go to the old toy website, make an account. Once you sign into the account, you're gonna click on render. You're gonna go to Octane render. You're gonna scroll down here to free trial, click on free trial. Then you're gonna to go to Octane Render Prime Free Tier. Scroll down, go ahead and hit Try Now. I'm going to be downloading mine for Windows here. I've got 2025, I'm gonna download that. And then I'm also going to download the Octane Prime Server 2025 2.1. Once those have downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and click on this here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install Blender. I'm gonna double click on it. Now you will get this weird error here again because it's just not authenticated. I don't know how on the back end that goes, but it is okay as long as you downloaded it from the old toy website. So what you'll need to do is just scroll over and then it says don't run. Come back over here to more info, click on more info. And then once you do that, it's going to change. Oh, I should probably just open this all the way up. There we go. There it is. We're gonna go ahead and say run anyways. That's going to jump us into there. Here's my new version that I'm downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, and boom, let it do its thing. We're gonna go ahead and click next. I agree, put it where you need to put it. I'm gonna say okay, and let it download. All right, once that is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish. The next we need to download the Octane server. Again, I'm gonna double click on the Octane server. We'll get the same warning here. Scroll that open, hit more info, then it's gonna say run anyways. Go ahead and hit yes. This should take only a quick second here. Hit next. I agree. I agree. Next. Boom, that is complete. We're gonna go ahead and hit finish. Once that is done, you're pretty much done. We can close the website. Then what I'm going to do is to go ahead and activate the server first before you open up Blender. I'll scroll down to Octane. Right here, Octane Server Prime, allow. Then if I open my tabs down here, we should see it. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one time. Now we're gonna to need to activate it. If you are new and this is your first time doing it, you're gonna to need to put in your same credentials that you made at the website. You're gonna to need to put them in here. It may not ask me for that because I've already done this several times and it does not. Now from there, we can go ahead and click on Blender, Blender Octane Edition. There it is. I like everything how it is. Key maps, Blender theme, dark theme. That is okay. Play button, yes. I'm gonna hit okay. There it is. Now what I'm going to do is come up here to the top, go to file, we're gonna to go to new file, and then we're gonna to go to Octane, setup, path tracing. Boom, now we are basically in, and we go ahead and hit this, fire this up, boom. Now you're in Blender Octane, easy as that. Quick tip for those of you who stayed till the end, I also do have a free file, startup file that you guys can use that will kind of help you get these settings in the proper range. Again, straight out of the box, some of these settings are not completely maximized, for the best user experience. For example, the viewport settings are kind of set high. We've got GI clamp. Wow, this updated version, they've actually adjusted the GI clamp. So that's actually fantastic. This newest version actually is looking like they have made some performance updates as far as G uh, viewport settings and things like that. So that is really nice to know. But if you guys are still interested in downloading my free setup file, I will have that available uh, link down below. I'm gonna go ahead and load that up. And what that does for me, uh, let me load that up quickly. One thing first, it does change some viewport things around. And then again, I made some adjustments here to my viewport 10, which is not too far off where they were at. But what it does also give me the ability to is if I flip up here to the scene and go to scenes, now I'm in cycles and I kind of mirrored my same scene, but now here is the cycles version. Right. So again, if I'm working on a project or I'm bringing in an asset, it's from cycles. I'll bring it in here, do the converter, fix it all up and do what I need to do and then copy paste it into my octane scene. And then boom, we'll be inside my octane scene. So it's something that might help you guys out. So I'll have that link will be down below. If you guys want to learn more about Blender Octane stuff, make sure you check out my channel here. I also have a Discord where we can help you guys out there. And if you really want to go hardcore, I have my Blender Octane School community, which is full of members who are dedicated to using Blender Octane and with a bunch of resources and probably most the best uh, Blender Octane community on the internet. So hope this helps, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.